Nityanandam, this is my Nitya Ovyananda coming to you live from Nityananda Pidam Bengaluru Adinam. I'm actually outside waiting, waiting to leave the Adinam because I will be going to a new Adinam this evening, ready for new adventures, new excitement. See, when you're a sannyasi, anything can happen, everything changes within a second. You can be doing one thing and doing something completely different. There's many speculations as to why this is. One thing is that it's to break our logic, to keep us moving, keep us active. See, because if we get too comfortable in something, we become lazy, we become tired and bored. So sometimes the master needs to shake us up and move us out into something new. So tonight I will be going somewhere new to Trishula Adinam, a new up-and-coming Adinam, in which a huge temple will be built there and a huge, beautiful hospital, an Ayurvedic hospital, a Vedic hospital, in which the powers of Sadashiva will be used in healing techniques from the Siddhas and all kinds of beautiful things will be happening there at that hospital. So I'm just uh, waiting for that to happen. See, traditionally, sannyasis only stay at a place a couple of days, maybe a few days at the most. They don't stay anywhere too long. They just keep moving. So it's now my time to have a little adventure and to try somewhere new. So I'm looking forward to my sister sannyasis that are there uh, and seeing them again and seeing what awaits me. So that is what life is about. Life is an adventure when you're a sannyasi. You have to be ready for anything. You have to go with the flow, as they say. Go with the current, go with life, say yes, and move. This keeps us always expanding. And as things are thrown at us, how can we react? How will we react? Out of a space of completion or powerlessness? So I like to choose powerfulness and a space of completion and enjoy what is happening and see what I can learn now. So looking forward to it. So next time you'll see me from a new place in a new background. And I'll look forward to speaking to you again. Nityanandam.